Greetings to all. This is Satya. Now I am going to talk about vertical integration. First, let's define what a vertical integration is. At its core, vertical integration is a strategy where a company expands its operation into different stages of the production and distribution process. Instead of outsourcing a certain activities, the company chooses to handle them inter internally. This can involve anything from sourcing raw materials to manufacturing and even handling the final stages of sales and distribution. A backwards integration where a company acquires control over its suppliers and forward integration where it gains control over its distribution channel. So why do companies choose vertical integration? Where there are several reasons. First, control over supply chain. Companies gain greater control over the entire production process. When you control the sources of your key inputs, you are less vulnerable to supply chain distributions on a price fluctuation. Apple has strict control over its manufacturing and supply chain to ensure a product quality and consistency. Second, cost reduction. By eliminating intermediaries, companies can reduce the cost associated with purchasing, shipping or even a warehousing. In the high competitive market, even a small reduction in a cost can make a significant difference to the company profitability. And third, improved quality control. When a company owns a multiple stages of its production process, it can enforce a stricter quality standards. This is especially benefit in industries like automobile or technology where quality and reliability. And fourth, greater market control. With the vertical integration companies can control how their products are delivered to the market. This has enabled them to better manage distribution channels, optimize inventory and improve the customer experience. Amazon, for example, controls both its supply chain and distribution network, allowing it to deliver the products with the impressive speed and efficiency. But there are some challenges and the risk associated with the vertical integration. High cost and capital investment. Vertical integration often requires sustainable financial, which not every company can afford. Setting up new facilities, acquiring suppliers, developing new distribution network or capital intensive moves the carry risk. And second, complexity in operation. Managing multiple stages of production or distribution can add significant complexity. Suddenly, a company was only responsible for one product or services. Third, potential for reduced flexibility. A vertical integration company may find it harder to adopt to market changes or switch suppliers if it locked into a specific supply chain setup. We saw the best example of vertical integration, Netflix. Netflix provides an example of forward integration. Initially, it relied on content from external studios, but as it expanded, Netflix began producing its own content. This move gave Netflix control over its content library and the ability to attract more subscribers with exclusive shows and movies. Vertical integrations can be a powerful strategy for companies looking to secure their supply chain and improve quality controls and reduce costs. Companies need to carefully weigh that benefits and challenges to determine if vertical integration aligns with their long-term strategies and goals. Thank you for giving a wonderful opportunity, sir.